Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to tell you about doing a basic conformational analysis using Gauss View and Gaussian software tools. So, uh, if there are many software tools available for conformational analysis, uh, and everyone has their own limitations and their pros and cons. Many of them don't do it on uh, quantum chemistry, do it quantum chemically, but they use force fields and uh, cheap computational methods. So uh, I prefer doing it using Gauss view and Gaussian. So uh, here I have an example molecule which has uh, quite a few rotatable bonds and uh, it can adopt many different conformations in the solution. So I'm going to do uh, a simple conformational analysis, uh, basically a potential energy scan where I can, uh, I, I'll rotate different uh, dihedral angles and then I'll draw the potential energy surface where I can uh, get the low energy conformers or the structures. First of all, have a look. This, this bond seems to be a uh, a rotatable bond this one so if I select the dihedral angle and just select this bond I can show you let's fix the first atom and then just rotate the other one see this bond is completely rotatable bond it can rotate and then uh, there is uh, another bond this one this one this one as well so uh, the problem is in Gauss view if you select more than two rotatable bonds and draw the potential energy scan it will take forever so um, we'll just start with two scans at the moment like two dihedrals uh, we'll scan them together so just click this R button which says redundant coordinate editor and uh, this window will come in front of you now what will we do is we add the dihedral angles i'll add a property and then select here dihedral and then do scan coordinate so which dihedral just select over here the one i selected earlier so click this dihedral and then what one two three four so it will scan this dihedral angle and uh, you can specify how many steps uh, do you want uh, let's take 15 steps of uh, 24 degrees each or you can take 24 steps of 15 degrees or you can even uh, make the size of the step smaller so this uh, will cover the whole 360 degree angle for it and uh, now I'll add another dihedral which dihedral it should be I'll select dihedral and uh, let's add the next one like this one what I'll do is scan coordinate take 15 steps of 24 degrees each so now I have selected these two dihedrals I'll just click OK and then set up the calculation all the other things are set up I'll just change the processors and the method uh, we have to use a very small method for this uh, I'll rather select the semi empirical method PM6 uh, just at the moment uh, because uh, uh, otherwise it will take a lot of time so for the purpose of making the video I'll I can go with this method now if I edit and save it conformational analysis molecule save yes you can see uh, that here are the uh, coordinates and at the end it has recorded those two dihedral angles and S for scan 15 steps of 24.0 degree each so if I close it and run the calculation 
and let's wait for it to, to finish as this is taking uh, too much time so I'll just have uh, I'll show you another molecule which I already have optimized so this uh, this is the same molecule and it's uh, one two dihedral angles have been uh, scanned so if I come to result and come to scan you can see that uh, there is a 3d potential energy surface and now these points the red ones are higher energy ones and the blue ones are low energy ones and these uh, white dots they are different structures so here you can see 625 different structures that have been optimized and scanned so if I select a low energy structure or a high energy structure you can see that the structure changes and you can simply copy this structure by Control C, paste in a new file, save it, do whatever you want. And uh, this way, you can easily uh, do a kind of conformational analysis. You can, if, if there are more than two dihedral angles, what will you do in that scenario? What I would do is, I will scan, if there are three, I will scan first, second, and then second, third, and then first and third together and from all those uh, from all those scans I'll uh, take the conformers and then optimize them and uh, see if there are any duplicates I'll remove them and then uh, using those conformers I'll make all the other calculations so that was about doing a simple kind of conformational analysis using uh, cause view and Gaussian and I hope uh, you would have learned something from it. If you have any relevant questions, you can ask in the comments section. And I'll try my best to, uh, to get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.